West, there is a, an organization that mm -hmm. I, you know, I'm just on their email list, so I don't know how well it works in reality, but it seems to be an organization that's anticipated the impact of the population shift on the community and, and seems to want to work productively in anticipation of that, proactively. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we have anything like that over here. Um, you know, so that, that's something that, that would, that's something that might be helpful. It's always very tricky. Um, um, actually, professionally as a sociologist, I've done a lot of research in dialogue, interracial and interethnic dialogue. Mm -hmm. And, you know, one thing that's really very complicated is how you really get people to talk to each other and work together, um, but do it in a way that, okay, I'm gonna start getting, my tongue is gonna get start getting tied up, so let me think about this for a minute. Mm -hmm. um, work together in a way that's really very helpful to both groups, but isn't just something that makes the more powerful group feel better about themselves. It's, it's, a real, it's a real problem with, with dialogue, right? Um, so, so I, you know, I'm not really sure, you know, it's, it's kind of a pat answer to say, oh, we should have an organization. Um, and I don't know if that would solve the problem um, or not.